Hi, Brad from WordPressSites.net. This is a short video on how to use a backup plugin to move your site from one host or one server to another host and another server. You can also use this backup plugin to move your WordPress site to um, to a different domain. Uh, the the instructions that you use to, to 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 do this with this backup plugin are different than what's uh, written in the WordPress codex. Whatever you find on the WordPress.org site is is a manual instructions. They don't have any instructions on how to use backup uh, a backup plugin. Um, so if you if you purchase the backup plugin, backup buddy and you're wanting to move your site to a new host or a new server or a new domain then you, then you follow the instructions on my site and I've written several tutorials about it and I've also made several videos on my YouTube channel which you'll find up here so everything's there and I've covered I've covered all bases of I've written uh, very extensive, uh, comprehensive tutorials and also made quite a few videos. But uh, I still occasionally have uh, people ask me, uh, you know, where do I place the backup once I've created the backup? Well, what you do is <coughs> you basically download it to your desktop is the easiest. So here we have here with an example. This is your backup of your full site. It includes all your files and your databases. And this is what Backup Buddy has created. So you click on the link in your in your in your WordPress dashboard, and you save it to your desktop. And there's also a link there for an Import Buddy script. Now that's just in a in a, in a Notepad file. So you make sure you click on that link as well, and you download that to your desktop as well. So you need these two uh, files. And and the next step is to put these into the root directory. Of you uh, on your server. Now I'll show you where that is because that may be different depending on uh, how many sites you've got. Now here we are in FTP, and you have to use FTP to do this. So um, I've, I've 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 started up FTP, and with FTP, if, if you're not aware of how it works, it's a very simple file transfer program. It has two screens. And each each screen has a couple of screens inside it, but but uh, it, it doesn't matter. On the left side is your computer. See, all these files, file folders here and here are all on my local laptop, my local PC, what they call a local system. On the right hand side, we've got the server. So this is where you've purchased your your hosting account and whether you use Bluehost or HostGator, I don't know who you're using but uh, this is what it'll look like when you log into FTP and you'll get your FTP details from your web host if you contact them they'll give them to you otherwise you can create an FTP details in your control panel which will be called your cPanel and that's available, That the link to that is available on the welcome email you receive when you sign up for a hosting account and if you read my tutorials on my site, I, I, I give you the best instructions on how to get all this solved and, and avoid all the technical issues. And if you follow those instructions, you're not going to have any problems. But uh, if you want to try things a different way and do things yourself, well, um, then you, you, you have to start learning a bit. So now on the left hand side, I said we've got the local system, the local PC. Now, You've just downloaded your, your backup uh, buddy zip file and the import buddy script. You've got them on your desktop. So what you have to do is locate them now. Now, what are they called? What are the names of them? I've just named this your backup zip file and import buddy. So let's find them in FTP. Once you've opened FTP, uh, let's just scroll down here and let's just find these because they'll be. And here they are here. Okay your backup zip file. Here it is here in FTP in this screen. And I'm using Fire FTP. It's a free Firefox add-on. So if you want to use the same um, FTP program, use this one. Okay. So there it is there. Your backup zip file. And here it is here. Okay. So we've found this in FTP and now we look for Import Buddy. 
and it'll be alphabetical. So H I uh, import buddy, where is it? Here it is. Here, there's, there's four of them. All right, we only need one. I've got four because I've done this so many times, and I just haven't deleted them. It's showing all my hidden files. But uh, all, all we have to do is click on the import buddy script, which is on our desktop, and we want to send this, send this plus the zip file, which is down here, and this is our full backup into the HTML directory, which is called the root directory. Okay, so here's public. HTML, so we click on this and open this. Now I've got 16 different blogs just on this one server, so you probably won't have this, you'll probably just have one. So what you'll do is you'll just place it inside the uh, public HTML. You won't have to create different folders like I have here different for different sites. Uh, if, if I wanted to transfer this, say, to do blog, which is one of my domains, then I'd have to open this, click on this, open it, and I'd have to put that full backup inside there. Okay, if you've only got one site, you won't have to do that. You'll just place this backup inside public HTML, and that is your root directory. And to do that, you highlight it here. You're already in public HTML, see, because we've opened it. And you click this, and that'll just send it across. Okay, the next step, you find your import buddy file. Okay, here, and you do the same thing. You've highlighted it, and you click this arrow, and this will go across into this location on your server, which is your uh, root directory. Because we're inside public HTML, you can see there. Once you're inside public HTML, that is your root directory. Okay, you won't have multiple sites. If you do have multiple sites, you have to click the, the directory folder of the site you want to transfer your backup into and restore it into. Okay, so it's as simple as that. Now once all that's done, once all that's completed, you open up your browser and that can be, it doesn't matter what browser you're using, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, Firefox, Opera, whatever, it doesn't matter. You type in your domain, so I don't know what your domain is, so I'll just put in www.yourdomain.com and then you slash import buddy.php and once you click enter on that you'll find the screen will start up and that'll start the import process for backup buddy and uh, it'll unzip the file onto your server it'll ask you for your new database details because you have to create a database in your control panel so you'll put the, uh, the name of the database the username and, and the password for the database and you'll just follow that import uh, process which is very very straightforward so uh, I won't do it now I've done it many many times if you get stuck um, just just send me an email and uh, and I'll actually write a blog post on what the root directory is but you'll find when you log into cPanel that it'll, it'll come up what the root directory is I'll show you right now. If you're having problems locating the, uh, the root directory, now where are we here? I've got so many different hosting accounts. I've tried many of them. I'm searching for the ultimate host. So uh, yeah, here's one. This is this is one of my HostGator accounts. Now normally normally when you're logging here. It will take. It'll ask you for the uh, for the root directory, but in this case it hasn't. But you'll you'll find if you have a new host hosting account, it will. So I'll f I'll find another hosting account and just uh, and just show you what I mean. Maybe this one. Let's look for um, let's look for another one. Okay, here we are here. Now I've just clicked on File Manager, which is under Files in C Panel. Once you log into C Panel, 
and the URL to the link to cPanel will be located in your welcome email after you sign up for a hosting account. Um, so to find the root directory another way rather than using the FTP is you can just navigate down to the file section, click on file manager and this little screen will come up here and this will show you what the root directory is and when you click on go uh, it'll, it'll go to the root directory and the root directory is your public HTML directory okay so that's 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 where the full backup uh, of the backup buddy backup needs to be placed you need to transfer it to the root directory uh, so you can restore it to the root directory on your new server so when we click go here this will open up in the public HTML directory. Now you don't transfer the, the backup using cPanel which I'm using now because you can't transfer full full uh, directories, you can only transfer individual files. But this is opened up in the root directory and the root directory is public HTML. Uh, unless unless you've got multiple uh, multiple um, sites on the, on the one server or unless you're attaching, uh, if you're attaching a, a blog to an existing website, then it won't be in the top level root directory. It'll actually be uh, forward slash another another uh, location. And um, I'll, I'll explain that to you now as well. Click on File Manager. Now I've just showed you an FTP before, but. Uh, this is probably not the best way to do it. I'll show you. I'll show you an FTP again. It's uh, it's it's easier. Now I've got multiple accounts, so it might it might be a bit confusing. But uh, fire FTP. Right. So here's public HTML. This is this is your your root directory. So you always click on public HTML. Now, if you've got uh, if if you've got something in public HTML to your website, for instance, and you, then you have a blog as well attached to your website, you'll have a directory called blog. Okay. So you'll just open up. So if this one was called blog, for example, you just open it up, and this is where you put the backup buddy backup. Okay, which we have here, and the import script. This is where you transfer it. Transfer it inside your uh, inside your your, your, your uh, subdirectory, um, or it might be a subdomain. It might be blog dot your domain dot com, uh, and restore it there. So it, so it's pretty straightforward. You'll find more information on uh, on backup and and moving sites to new servers, new domains, new hosting accounts. I'll, I've created several YouTube videos and there's quite a few more tutorials. This search function on my site works very very good. So you can just type in uh, move WordPress or uh, or site move, and, and you'll find all the articles that I've written and I've explained multiple methods and techniques of moving to a new server domain or host so you'll see them all here this search functions Google custom search it works very very well uh, there's no AdSense or anything attached to it it's, it's, it's made specifically from a site there's no there's no ads in there whatsoever so uh, I've also got a category I've moved the categories down to the bottom of the site now and there's one category called site move and that's got everything in there it, it doesn't doesn't cover all the tutorials because I put some of them under the plugin category, but uh, this covers quite a few of them as well. So you'll find all my tutorials. They'll be under Site Move, and they'll also be under Plugins and, and WordPress plugins. So that's where you'll find all the tutorials on uh, explaining all the various different methods and techniques on how to back up your site and move your site to a new host, domain or server. So there you go, good luck. If you get stuck, use the contact form up here or, or leave a comment and, and I always uh, I always reply within 12 to 24 hours. So uh, cheers.